portion of the news is brought to you by Shell Ultra Low Sulfur Diesel. The Bahamas Agriculture and Marine Science Institute is looking to get an influx of goats and sheep over the next few months. During their one-day tour of Bamsey and Andros this week, Caribbean agriculture ministers were brought up to speed on how officials plan to care for animals and some of the programs that will come on stream. Jiminita Swain picks up the story from here. Expanding fruit crops is a major focus for officials of the Bahamas Agriculture and Marine Science Institute. Project Director Dr. Omer Thomas said they're in a position to harvest 15 acres of papaya with a view of increasing that number as well as banana fields. Dr. Thomas was updating Caribbean agriculture ministers on the Bahamas' efforts to get closer to feeding itself with locally grown products. So at the end of the day, we should be having 150 acres of bananas for 2015 at the end of 2015. We have here 15 acres of papaya and we'll be going up to 70 acres before the end of this year. We are going south with our, with our production areas. While produce increases, Bamsi officials also showcase one of four night holes being built at a cost of 40,000 to house sheep and goats. Bamsi Farm Director Everton Park said they have 42 goats and sheep. By mid-March, officials expect 200 sheep and by May, 200 goats. Chief Agricultural Officer for Barbados, Barton Clark, boasts that the Barbados black belly sheep is the best in the world and that Bamsi officials may want to look at importing it. Some of the globally recognized breeds would give you one lamb per litter. With Barbados Barbados sheep, you can get as many as four or five. And once you rear and manage them properly, it means rather than rearing one lamb, you can bring four or five lambs. So your returns and things are supposed to be far better. Erin Gash said she could not be more pleased with the experience of sharing what she knows with her students. So this is a first-hand experience of being able to apply what I learned in school. A lot of people don't have that experience. You end up working somewhere that has nothing to do with what you did in school. Um, and I also teach the students here at Bamsey. So being able to impart my knowledge um, into them, I think, is probably the most uh, beneficial part of my role here. Within a year's time, Bamsey should be bustling with chickens and other livestock, as well as orchards of fruit. Jiminita Swain, ZNS Network News. The Ministry of Public Service, in conjunction with local government, conducted a leadership seminar in Exuma this week. Public service employees were given tips to better equip themselves with the skills to assist them in their job responsibilities. Our Julian Gibson is in Exuma and has the details in this report. This past week, public servants in Exuma were encouraged to make a positive impact in their workplace, whatever their profession is. Okay, the seminar itself sort of improves us to um, motivate ourselves to um, perform our job more efficiently. Julian, I am in renewed it. I told the fellas them this morning that they better be ready for Monday because I feel the whole airport staff have been renewed and ready to go because I feel that we have been slack in some of the things that we've been doing. So I really appreciate what the island administrator uh, done this week, and I think for the whole year, and I think going forward for the, part, for, for the airport staff and security and everybody, everybody that's ready right now to go. Like I told my boss, I say Monday, we gotta make our plans ready to move forward to take Exuma to the next level. Motivational speaker, Pastor Dury Thomas, encouraged the workers to excel in the workplace. Jesus was trying to show Peter and all of his disciples again that even though he is called master, even though he was called Lord, even though he was called rabbi, which was one of the most esteemed titles that you could have in those days, Jesus said, regardless of my position, regardless of the title, I am willing to serve. I am willing to get on my knees. I am willing to do what nobody else is willing to do. And so leadership at its basic function and at its greatest function is service. Member of Parliament for Exoma and Regat Island, Mr. Anthony Moss, told the workers that with all that's on top for Exoma, they must be ready. This training session of which you would have experienced over the past few days is of the utmost importance because we can improve all of our infrastructural needs and facilities such as our ports, whether it's the seaport or the airport or whatever 
facility that needs to improve, we can improve those. But until we are able to better ourselves as individuals, then we will be like any other destination. So for that, I am indeed delightful that you took the time out to come out to be a part of this presentation that was done by Mr. Bethel in preparing yourselves to be better persons in your various agencies and of course, by extension, causing the Bahamas to be a better place. Reporting for ZNS Network News, I am Julian Gibson. There has been an increase in the number of students abusing their cell phones to share sexually explicit photos at various schools in the Bain and Grantstown constituency. The complaints raised by guidance counselors at those schools has forced members of the Urban Renewal Project to host a two-day sexting seminar for preteens and teenage girls. Officer in charge of the Bain and Grantstown Urban Renewal Project Assistant Superintendent of Police Anthony Roll says he is pleased to see that students are receptive to the information provided to them. Today we did the pretense and now we are dealing with uh, teenagers. Uh, school representative uh, C.R. Walker and T.A. Thompson, C.C. Sweeting. Uh, we, we have seen that, 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 that the kids are excited. Uh, they are being imparted a lot of knowledge uh, because um, one of the kids came to me and, and they say uh, ASPI didn't know sexting was a word. They thought that, was, that, was, that was, it was just a term used loosely. So that they are, they are learning on, on the things that that they shouldn't do and uh, the, the importance of cell phone. Assistant Superintendent Roll says the seminar will not only target female students but male students as well. We know that both um, groupings of persons need this, uh, but we saw the need to to split them. You know, this time will be for for the female for the female, so we uh, were able to do all female, and then we will do the all male seminar. So we'll go back to the drawing board and bring the males in at a similar uh, seminar. But I think we uh, because they are split, we wanted to focus different, have different focus for different groupings. Uh, the, the females we wanted to focus more on on them being victims, uh, them. Uh, 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 are sending these pictures of themselves to their friends and or to their boyfriends and they don't know where they are going and for also for the for the for the males we wanted to, to see that um to, to to take it from the point as them receiving these pictures a new role for the King of Jonkanu, Minister of Tourism Obi Wilchcombe announced earlier this week that cultural icon Percy Vola Francis takes on a new role as an employee of the Ministry of Tourism. The 67-year-old is tasked with taking Jonkanu to another level internationally. Prime Minister of the Right Honorable Perry Christie told the House of Assembly the role Francis will play in the upcoming Jonkanu Carnival event on May 7th. And I expect, Mr. Speaker, this man who's around 67, 66 years old, who's given his life, who's given his life, Mr. Speaker, to making people feel good about being Bahamian. And we're talking about we don't approve of giving him the opportunity that people all over the world are able to extract from festivals to make money. And you know his ambition is to finish paying for his house. Ah, for God's sake. I speak publicly about him because he's a public figure. And I once said here that I'm by myself when it comes down to what I believe in when it comes to, to John Canoe. Because I know John Canoe is going to have the best opportunity he's ever had in his history now for the world to get to see it. <coughs> on the giant stage that we're going to create, the giant platform that we're going to give John Canoe. And I'm going to make it a point to see the people come from Abaco for it and they come from Freeport for it. And so when the John Canoe orchestra squares off against each other, it's going to happen. And that does it for this portion of the news, but don't go anywhere. Sports with Kelsey Johnson is up next.